Hello, welcome to another episode of Shampoo and Booze. This is episode number 80. We are looking at a little cute cabin in northwestern Washington state, right on the border of Idaho. You can see us on YouTube, youtube.com slash shampoo and booze. You can check out our design services and advice services for Airbnb, notperf.com. You'll see all our tiers, all our prices. We would love to talk to you. We would love to see your Airbnb. You should send it to us so it can be in a video here, like you're watching right now, shampoo and booze at gmail.com. Let's look at this listing. It's from Bob and Shelly. They were so kind to send it to us. Okay, check out this little cabin. It's in Chula. Chula. <laughs> Chula. I'm sure people who visit that area know how to say it. And they're laughing at us right and now. They're laughing at us right now. We're like, cool. Chula. <laughs> Chula. <laughs> um, okay, obviously, you can see this place is super cute. Oh my God. As soon as we got this, we were like, I want to go there. Yes. So first impressions here, they have five-star reviews. They only have seven reviews, although it is winter now. So I'm assuming people are booking for winter ski stop. So that's happening. And it's super new. Two guests, one bed, one bath. So this is a studio bungalow situation. The only thing that I would say about this view that we're seeing right now is I want to see more than just the bedroom. Um, I want a variety of photos because as we always say, Airbnb is weird. They're going to put your first five photos up, not in any good order. It's just like the preview on the desktop. So that can mess you up a little bit. I like the first photo. I like the photo of the front of the cabin in snow. I think that's awesome. I think the other three photos, we need a little more variety. Yeah, like we could do, one of them could be like a close-up of the kitchen. Yep. Because obviously that's in there. We could do, you know, maybe there's one other kind of like land photo or something. Um, I, I feel like the ski mountain map could come much later. I feel like we really want to, like... If somebody's looking at your cabin, they already understand or know what's in the area. That's why they're looking at your cabin. So it's like that that information can come later, but let's focus just on your property alone. Let's get a really good gallery view, like gallery preview for this one. Okay, this is a great first photo. It helps that you have a one-room cabin. <laughs> yeah, it's like everything is right there. Here it is, right. Um, the question I just had when I was looking at this when we were just starting, it looks like there's a loft upstairs and it's not accessible. Um, I'm just curious, is that just storage for you guys? Is that something people can use? Ashley was saying, you know, if people slept up there, you'd really have to get um, a railing, like a safety thing. Um, I've stayed in Airbnbs where there was a gorgeous, amazing loft that you could not access. And I really wanted to access it. So I'm curious about that. Yeah. And, you know, we, this is like, we could just like say this for literally every listing, including Ryan's. It's like, what information do you want to convey to people in your description? Like the one room log sided cabin is great. That's great information. But then the rest of it of like a place to get cozy. It's like, I don't know. I feel like there could be more descriptors for the space in the yes. caption. Yep. yep. This is a great second photo. I think it's good. I think it's so cute, adorable, love the porch. Okay, so this is another perspective of the room. Um, I don't think this is a bad photo for the gallery photo uh, either. The I am gonna start out by saying this. Your cabin is small, which is fine, it's cozy. No, it's actually not small. Uh, for a studio, this is actually, a, from what I can see, is actually a really, really nice size. It's too small for the amount of signs that you have. So for me, just personally, I don't want any signs with words on them. That is not my style. It's just not something I like. However, if you do have, I like the ski lodge sign. I think that's super cute. Anything with sayings, just for me, it's a no-go. 
um, design wise. I think you have too many signs. So we're going to see that. And I, I think that there are solutions for that, but I don't mind this sign. And I actually like that um, old school antique dresser with the mirror. Yeah, that's amazing. So Ryan and I often say and joke about particularly log cabins, we always say death by naughty pine. And what ends up happening with little cabins like this is like, it's just like wood and wood and wood upon wood. But this is the first time I've seen a cabin where there's a lot of wood, it's very rustic, and I love it. I actually think it's really well done. You know, the ceiling is really nicely stained. All of the wood elements that you've brought into it feel antique. They don't feel like you know, you got them from Pier 1 or something. Um, and actually the bed being like a log cabiny bed, I think it all actually works really, really well together. So well done doing all of that wood in that tiny space and really making it feel integrated. I had a friend that lived in that part of the country and people handmade those beds um, out of wood like that. So I wonder if it was like a local craftsperson that made that bed because I've seen those there and it's beautiful. I agree with Ashley, like the ceiling is wood, but the walls are, it looks like drywall. So that helps a lot cut down on the like wood insanity. So that looks beautiful. Okay, like we were saying, this can go later or not at all. Um, I feel like people already know that they're here for this very reason. So you don't have to tell them that it's here. We want more info about your property you are selling your property. Also, I have to say, like it says in your description that you can offer ski and stay packages with discounted lift tickets. That's amazing. I kind of wonder if that's why they put it at the oh, beginning of their listing, because that's, that's kind of a big deal. Yeah, maybe that is okay to have. So I feel like for the preview photos though, this can come after that. Yes, yeah, like maybe this is like too, too, too later. Here's why I love you people. You say everything in the, in the description. You also say each bedside table features a USB charging station and there's a Bluetooth speaker and you have lamps and plugs and everything everybody needs. So thank you. Hallelujah. And it's super cute. I love the pillows on the bed. Although I don't usually like throw pillows on the bed because guess where they're going to end up? They're gonna on go the on the floor. floor. People put them on the floor. There's nowhere else to put them. So I do never do throw pillows because they've been on the floor and now they're on the bed. So that's one just solution for this is you have your main bed pillows. Maybe you have a set of four bed pillows. Um, you know, like a a big hard firm pillow and a small soft fluffy pillow because people like different things. Um, and then one thing you can do is you can get one of those big lumbar pillows and it's just one long pillow that can just go up against there and then they can put it on a chair or something, you know, but it's not like, they're not like drowning in pillows. <laughs> the other thing you can do also, cause I was just in an Airbnb last week where there were a million throw pillows everywhere and we had to, there was nowhere to put them. We had to put them on the floor. You could have a basket. You could have a little basket in front of, not even little, like a basket where you could have extra blankets and stuff and people could put the pillows there. Hopefully that's where they would put them, but you never know. Season, so seasons, we're seeing winter. It looks like this is either fall or summer. That's great. Like I wanna see all, all seasonal whatever of the landscape, but not much more than we need, right? So. Yep. We see in the beginning, there are 47 pictures here, and I know already that that's too many. Um, so it's great to see different seasons of the cabin. It seems like skiing is the thing that happens in this area, so that's probably a little bit more weighted in terms of the winter pictures, but right. this is good. Now, I feel like, so you're showing outdoor photos, which is great. This is amazing. I totally wanna stay here, no doubt. However, we're not done with the inside. So I'm kind of like, let's, let's get back to the inside. I don't want too many outdoor photos. Like I'm still exploring, like, let's look at the kitchen and the bathroom and stuff. So I almost feel like the outdoor photos just 
you already kind of showed us the outdoor. Let's, let's leave those till after the indoor is done. And I would say, so the last picture that we saw just now with the rocking chair, this picture is incredible. Like this is the view from your house. Yeah. So maybe what it is, is this picture is the other nature picture at the very beginning. So it's yeah. like, you have a winter outside, you have this, you have, you know, the full thing, you have the kitchen, and maybe there's like a picture of the bathroom or something like that. Yep. I love that. You want that variety. This is amazing. Beginning. This is gorgeous. I want to hang out here for sure. For sure. This, this is a good advertisement. You're sitting on the chair, you have a glass of wine or whiskey or whatever, and you're just like, that's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Oh, it's quiet. It's amazing. I can smell the trees. Yeah. Okay. Kitchen. I just stayed in a studio, a uh, little tiny thing for a week. And they said full kitchen and there was no oven or stove. That is not a full kitchen. However, you have a beautiful full kitchen that I would be happy <laughs> to hang out and cook. You have a gas oven and stove. Um, it's a mini size, but it's amazing. Um, the only thing that I will say about the kitchen setup, um, besides what I'll say later, is if people, you don't have a dishwasher, so you have, that's a fridge on the side because I couldn't see a fridge anywhere else. You need like a dish drainer or like something where if we're hand doing dishes, I'm not putting it straight on your beautiful countertops. Um, they sell these little like microfiber pad things that you can just put dishes on or you could get like a you know, one of those metal things from Ikea where you just have dishes. But to me, that says there's no place for me to put my clean dish dishes. And uh, one thing, I don't mean to steal your thunder, but um, one thing that we talked about while we were looking at this listing is the signage. We already mentioned that. So that on that right side, like where I want to put a couple like mugs that I just washed or something like, you know, something to dry, it would be awesome if there was actually shelving up where that sign is that says, let's get cozy. I would so much rather just like, you know, maybe that's where all the like coffee mugs are or something that is visually pleasing, but also functional so that you actually can get that stuff up off. You have such limited counter space. So it's like, could you put some shelving in to get stuff up off the counter? Yes. The artwork in the kitchen, I feel should go away. I think you should put shelving there. I, do, I don't like cabinets just as a personal, especially in rentals. Like I was at this rental for a week and I still could not figure out where the coffee mugs are. I still, <laughs> because I'm busy and I'm like, I don't live there and I'm like coffee mug, coffee mug. Okay. So I would love, I mean, this is, you're going to be so annoyed at me, Shelly, but I would love for those cabinets and all that artwork to go away and just have shelving make it so easy for renters. Now I know it's only for two people and it was just Jay and I in this, this studio that we were at. But I mean, there are a couple of times where I'm like, I don't want to wash another mug. There should be at least three, um, sorry, four mugs. So two mugs per person. Um, so yeah, just put those on a shelf, have wine glasses, have stuff like that. Um, just make it really easy. Plates and dishes and stuff should just go on shelves. Um, renters just want to be like, here's my stuff. Yeah. We've been to so many Airbnbs that look beautiful, but aren't that functional. So it's like how to make yeah. it functional and pleasant and easy. And, you know, maybe it doesn't mean ripping out your top cabinets, but maybe it means, um, you know, just putting some extra shelving there. The other thing I want to say about this photo is there's a, a hand towel on the left, um, which is good that you have that, but it's, it's taking away a ton of the photo. So like if you retake this photo, take that off so that it's not taking up like a big chunk of the photo. Okay. This is a great photo of the kitchen and like seating area. I almost feel like this is a better photo than the previous one. I almost feel like you could potentially do without the previous one. This I don't one might know. be able to go. Yeah. It doesn't give me more information than this does. And this basically says the same thing. Yeah. I feel like that other one, like save, 
conserve your photo numbers basically um, also i like the bear i like the bear <laughs> keep the bear okay the signs can go keep the bear yeah i feel like the bear needs to if you do have functional shelves right there the bear needs to come over a little bit like yep. there's plenty of space on that wall to be like well yep exactly move it over um, I love your chairs. You've got like two shell chairs there. That table almost looks a little bit too small. Um, I know for two people, you're like, how much room do you need for two people to sit at a table? But like with the leaves down, you can't really put your um, legs there. So I feel like either put the leaves up and leave them up or maybe a little bit of a bigger table. It looks like there's enough room to have a little bit of a bigger table there. Yeah, or you can turn the table so that people can actually get under the table. You can even pop a leaf up if you need it. I actually like that. Turn the table and pop one of the leaves out, like kind of permanently, and you've solved that. See, this is why I love Ashley, because she's like, she's like a puzzle space designer. She's like, just turn that around. Why, why did it take you a million years to figure that out, Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> so again, you've already showed this like we don't we don't need to see this again and um as long as you have the info in your caption on your other photo of the kitchen it should be fine i feel like we've already seen this as well oh you know what's interesting i don't know if it's just the angle but i can see now that the kitchen table is long see how it's long oh, from the window yeah. out i bet that's different. why they put it that way Anyway, I would, I would play with the, the placement of that table. I actually think because it's long, it would be better turned because uh -huh. then there's more room for two people plus like a bottle of wine and like yeah. part of your dinner. So yeah. I actually think it should be turned and flip the leaf and I, I still think it's great. Yeah, I do too. Now, I don't know where this is in the room, but I feel like it's important that you show it and say yeah. that it's like a gas beautiful yodel gorgeous cast iron stove but i don't know where it is in the room so i feel like we need a more contextual photo of this like here's where you're sitting and hanging out and it's cozy you know i agree and also it was helpful for me when i was looking through the photos i was like oh this isn't a wood stove i don't have to know how to use a wood stove to be in this cabin so that's really good information yeah that's great info and it's super cute. Okay, I, now I see where the stove is, but I, I wasn't looking for it before, but I feel like the two chairs with the stove, like that could be its own little photo instead of this. Like we don't, I don't feel like we need to see this again. Okay, bathrooms are hard to photograph. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Although I think you could take a photo, um, vertically although airbnb hates those photos but they do okay with them now like you could kind of sneak in there a little bit to show it looks like there's a storage cabinet and i'm hoping there's like you know a little thing on the back of the toilet with all the stuff that we like to have lotion tissues room spray stuff like that we need a better we need a better angle because i'm seeing part of half of this is the kitchen so that's behind the door. That's interesting. Yeah. This is a good shot. I almost feel like this yep. shot should go first or something. This is a good shot. And it's a super cute bathroom. Yep. What do you think about robes? Is that like a whole other episode? <laughs> I do feel like that's a whole other episode. <laughs> I don't, I mean, I've not really stayed at a place and been like, gee, I wish a robe was here. I've never used a robe. The last place had robes for us. And I was like, eh. I just never use them. I wonder, they would know because they do the laundry. Do they have to wash these every time? Yeah, I would love to know. What are people's opinions on robes? Do people, what's, I don't have the deal a robe with robes. at home. I don't even have one at home. Mom, like growing up, mom and dad always had robes. I don't know if that's like an 80s thing. I just like, I never, I just put my pajamas on. No, maybe I should use a robe. Maybe it's yeah. cozy. What's the deal with robes? I, don't I, I use a robe in the summertime. Isn't that funny? <laughs> that I don't use one in the. I don't want to be like <laughs> exposed in the winter. It's so cold. You're like, yeah, okay. not like a fluffy one, you know. But it's like it's like a kimono type, like yeah. Okay, yeah, I get it. Yeah, that's funny. Okay, 
you know what I'm gonna say about this photo? You don't need this photo. And also the sign makes me, <laughs> no. It has really <laughs> strong feelings about signs. You know the thing, my thing about signs is, number one, I don't want to be told what to do. <laughs> by an in, inanimate object uh number two i think they're too cute like yeah like they're cute but like over the line like if you took the sign out of this this would be a cute photo um but like the sign to me i'm like it's too cute it's too it's too sugary right it's, like, it's sweet. sweet i don't know there is just there's it's a little too precious or something i don't it's know we precious. have strong feelings about it's precious. signs i i i'm very like yeah, I'm very punk in my in my assessment of signs. I'm just like, don't don't do it. Um, I also don't think you need this photo, or this photo. It's super cute. You should have like this to me is cute enough and not over the line. Like if this is in your cabin and someone's staying there and I'm staying there, I'm like, that's freaking adorable in a good way, right? And We've said this before. It's like we don't need pictures of all the little like tableaus. It's like just have them and that's yeah. great. And we'll, yeah. you know, get, get put it on Instagram or something. Put it on Instagram. Also, don't need this photo. Yeah. We know what the outside and the inside look like. Right. Okay. So this is kind of like your coffee center area. And I think if, it, if there were shelves and I don't know if you can move the coffee maker over here then you should show that. Like, here's the beverage center in the kitchen. But this is not, to me, this is not enough information. Also, I feel like we don't need this photo. Although, I feel like we need this angle because there's a bench and, like, a place to put your shoes and stuff that I'm seeing. And that should be its own, like, wider photo. I also think you need hooks by the door. If you do not, like, if people are skiing, and going hiking and they're gonna have jackets and hats and scarves and stuff. They do have hooks. Where? Oh, do they? On the right side. This is why this oh, photo would be helpful okay. as a larger. On the right side they have hooks. But you know, the other okay. thing that's helpful to see with this bench is I was wondering like where do I put my luggage? It's such a small space and there's like a dresser, but if we each have a piece of luggage and maybe we have like all of our ski, you know, jackets and stuff like that. It's like, where do we put all that stuff? So I actually think you could use more hooks on the left and the right side of this bench. Yep. The bench is where you want hooks and maybe like a little shelf with hooks underneath there or something. Um, because it's, you just don't want people to be like, I have to put my stuff on the floor or on the bed or like, if you already have hooks, that's great. I did not see that. Um, this photo should convey that. So we're going to we're going to pop through these. That is a gorgeous photo. It should definitely this is great. I this is also I think this is a better photo of the snow. Yeah. I don't think you need two of them. Also a fine photo, but here's where we have way too they're like so we're on 24, there's 47 photos. There's still 23 more photos. I mean, these are gorgeous photos, but I don't feel like you need that many. This is a cute photo. Yeah, like pick two of them. Now we're 30 photos in and you're telling us there's a fire pit. Yeah, I would put that way before. Yeah, like for the and people- can we use it in the winter? Right, so these are questions we have. Um, they provide firewood, that's awesome. Um, I also will see there's a layout of the property. I don't know where this is on the property. How close is it? Is it shared? I'm pretty sure it is shared. You should say that in the first photo. I feel like this should be a much wider photo. Another outdoor photo. Okay, so you have dogs. Now, I'm assuming you live next door. And now you should say that in your thing. They you say it in the main description, but okay. it should say it. Say they it. say something like the dogs, you know, take serious their job of like being on the property and right. greeting people you know but say that in this little description too you know be like they're gonna they're gonna come over when you pull up and right. you know because there there might be people who are like dog sensitive it's good that you showed this so that you're yes. like there are dogs they're gonna say hi yep okay we again 
So there's this where it's like, there are all these things you can do on the property. Okay, I can see you say you can make out the roof of the cabin in the distance, but on your layout, we'll see that in a second. Also, the, the layout is way too far away. Move it, move it, move it, move it. We want to see the layout of the land and the layout of the house way, way before all the outdoor photos. And like, there's a hot tub on the property. Yeah, so I don't know, they, I, I didn't read the description because I'm like that, like you said. Right. The description. So this is 36 photos in. Um, we need this a lot sooner. You live next door. It's, That's it's great. We love just that. awesome. You should meet people and they should be so psyched that you have this on your property. I want to know where the fire pit is. I want to know where the hot tub is. Um, it says there's a shop there. Now, I'm assuming that means a workshop, like a wood workshop or something, not a place where you can like buy food or honey or whatever. Like, yeah, like a farm, farm shop. Like a like farm stand. So you need to distinguish what that means. Yeah. Agreed. Is it a shop? Can I buy honey? Because you have mm -hmm. beehives. Right. So be, be super clear as to what that is. Be specific. Be super clear. <laughs> Um, so I'm assuming this is from when you built the building because it looks like a brand new building. This is great. Yeah, I like, I, I'm glad that you added this. Um, I feel like it's helpful. Yeah, I love these. Um, you could redo it um, without any of the writing because you get it. You're like bathroom, kitchen, bed, mm -hmm. there's the porch. Um, yeah. Or you could, you know, redo the writing. For me, I'm straining to read it uh yeah and so this is this is great there's the parking there's the um i don't know what those little circles are they're what like shrubs things? and trees and stuff. okay so this is this is you guys drew this out to plan the area yeah um that's a little bit confusing to non non people non, non architects, non -architects. <laughs> yeah like ashley was like duh they're shrubs duh they're shrubs duh um okay so here's where we get into your area which I guess if you're, if you are marketing your area is okay, but I usually tell people not to put these in here. You don't, these places look amazing. Like and this I, picture is gorgeous. That uh, mountain picture is gorgeous. I say, fine. I'd be fine with that. If you took a bunch of the like redundant cabin outside pictures out, I, I feel like this is cool. Now this is your amazing wine bar which i'm super excited that you have in town um i don't know i i know I, I don't here's your coffee shop amazing like Cute. you guys have great places yeah uh, here's the golf course which i'm sure people come to your area to visit but do you need to market it in your listing i don't know mm -hmm. i don't think question. so i think people are already coming to come to these places mm -hmm. um, Dude, you guys have amazing. You guys have a ton of cool stuff. stuff. I mean, the other thing you could do is it sounds like you offer like a welcome guide or a welcome book when people come, because I think you said it in your description. You know, list all of those things out. Or like right. Ryan and her listing has a map of a the map. area with like a general place where the cabin is or the apartment or whatever. And then you could just in one map photo list all of those places i say that's stronger yeah than adding them per picture i think it's stronger because you're like go to the wine bar go to the brewery go to the coffee shop here's a little boutique and look how close they are you can go downtown and walk to all of them um i think that's stronger like you said so here's a little boutique yeah you don't know no no unless you own this place like if this is your place and you're um okay so this is what this is confusing are these horses that live on your property they are they, they say are. it in their other description um they say that they're they're like not visible from the cabin and but they're on the property so say i that would in say this photo say it in the photo yeah exactly because i am like the most ridiculous person as i've said i never read the description or i read it after yeah i'm gonna go back and be like i love this place i'm gonna go read it um but i want that information here first and 
put it over with the dogs and put it on the map too like where are the yeah. horses the other thing they say in their description is there's an electric fence somewhere on the property okay um and so it should say that somewhere on the map i mean maybe you provide a map for guests just in case but it's good to say that stuff up front okay so obviously we love your place i think there are a couple little minor tweaks I do have a question though, because whenever I've like fantasized about just having a studio or a bungalow, I always think about the people who are a couple with a little kid. And I'm like, I bet you guys are getting those questions where it's like, it's my husband and I and our like two year old. Are you right. just straight up like, nope? Or are you like, I have a little pull out, you know, trundle thing? Because I feel like that's a market that you might be missing out on that you could just pull those people in it's not just couples it's couples with a little kid you know yeah I, w I would love to know if you get inquiries from people about having children or like do you allow dogs I wasn't sure if this place is like dog friendly you guys obviously have dogs you know are they friendly with other dogs like I anyway this this would be like a classic place for someone to stay with their dog but do you allow that Right. So um, I will say that a majority of the people who stay at my rentals have dogs. And if we had cut those people out, I would be not sitting here right now because I would have to get another job. Um, so to allow dogs and to allow people with a kid, maybe two kids, like that is a huge market that you should just be sure that you're. <laughs> getting getting a share of that is it for episode 80 leave comments for us on youtube youtube.com slash shampoo and booze also send us your listings we want to see your properties shampoo and booze at gmail.com and also we offer design services so check out our design services notperf.com like not perfect and tell us what you think make comments, send us emails. We love to hear from you. We love to give advice. Subscribe. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. It's so close. Subscribe on YouTube. Woo. Boop, boop. All right. Bye. Bye.